How y'all doing on this, Coach McFadden? And I wanted to go over some plays that can look um, confusing, but they're not. And what I like to do is I like to take out the air raid family, the run the shoot variant family, and kind of dibble and dabble and, and, and mess with the informations. Now, the, the key to this stuff is keeping it simple and what can your boys understand. But at the same time, don't short your boys. They can understand a lot. Um, not saying you got to run a million plays. This isn't the NFL. And in high school where I coach, we don't got a million hours of practice time. And I think a lot of you guys are running into the same problem. So what I like to do is play around with formations. So in our offense, this would be called our deuce left formation here. Um, the H, the X and Z are always on the top and the H and Y will always be on the bottom. Now we have our regular formations are spread right, spread left, where it's a traditional air raid two by two offense. But this is something we like to go into. So one of the calls we use off of this it's called X cross. And you're like, wait, what? There's Y cross. There's, yes. But we found you can get creative and still stay simple. So this would be called X cross. Now, all it does is on the on the right hand side, because we called X cross, the right hand side is they're running hitch routes. And, and right here, what we like to do is make that Y stick combination still active. Now, our quarterback's reads are still going to go H to Z. Then he can go here to here. He's got a hot here, right? So this is where it's not really that complicated. Now, we can check the Z if we want to. We can check the Z. And you guys got to get just play. It's awesome. To a go pattern. We can go. Or we can get him on a post pattern. Um, excuse me. There. Or we can get him on a post pattern, right? I call post. So that's really – that's a changeable thing. It's kind of what you feel in your offense. But the read still goes H because if we get one-on-one -on -one and we're gone and when this guy's wide open, reading open grass, remember that, read open grass, get your quarterbacks, read open grass. Don't read men, read open grass, we can progression reads. If we get this and it's a home run and we're gone, right, and maybe we can confuse the defense doing this. And then it goes to our Z because, of course, our cross is huge to us. This can be an automatic read. Now, we tell our quarterback he can check in the Y stick at this point because, as you can see, it's still the same on the right-hand side if it would be a regular two-by-two two set with the back on the strength side, right, on, on the right side. So he can just call check, 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 Y stick, Y stick. This is his check. I'm giving him the freedom to do it. Now, if he doesn't check anything, they understand this is the play we call. So his progressions are going to stay here. He has the freedom to do this. Our, court, our coach, he can look over and you can check into it, right? So that was something we started playing around with, and I felt like it was very good. Now, right here on the Z, the Z is option to do a lot of things. He can even do a, a quick little speed out thing here, right? Boom. So he has many things he can do if, if, if you want to women and do it. Here's the beauty of it, what we're just talking about. So let's say we just ran X cross. This is another reason why I like stacking these receivers. Because we just ran that. Uh, and I'll explain to you the significance of the um, little arrows there you've seen. I get a little excited. So, so now what we'll do is we'll just call H cross. So all it means is X has to go. And Y, or H, sorry, and H turns into our, uh, well, not, I'm sorry, guys. So, I'm delete that. <laughs> um, sorry about that. And H turns into our cross. See, that would have been H, H shallow. So, he turns, see, and what do you love about this is that the yardage is right there. So, we're trying to work him about eight to nine yards. So, let's go 8.17. Main point, teaching point, X cross, H cross, Y cross, Z cross, because you can do it on both sides, is get behind the linebackers. Get behind them. We're running H shallow, Z shallow, Y shallow, X shallow, which you're like, what? It's all simple stuff. Then you're telling him to get in front. So he's going to get behind. And I'm going to tell you guess I've um, been explaining your significance. If they're sitting in zone, then he's getting taught to sit. Quarterback is getting taught that if he's sitting, then he's hitting him. This is what the sit on news drill is so important for. If you don't know what that is, I can explain in another video or you can look it up. 
Um, and like I said, the reads are really simple. They go from X to H now. So if we got this guy and he's gone, read and open grass, we take him. If not, his eyes are going to shift to H. If H sees zone, he's going to sit and then he's going to get the ball. Sitting behind the backers, find holes in between the zone. If they're in man, he's even, he's leaving, right? And then we still want to hit him about here. That's why we're also got this here because we're, we're trying to pull, keep a guy pulled. Tell your guys don't run yourself into coverage. Don't run yourself into coverage. If you're running and the quarterbacks can't hold on to the ball too long either. He's taught that he's got the minute that he sees this guy open grass here, open grass here, open grass here, open grass here, let the ball go. He's got to be a quick release guy. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. I tell my quarterbacks, look at Brett Favre's numbers, look at um, Peyton Manning's numbers, look at those guys' numbers. They threw a lot of interceptions too. It's it's okay. They'll go down eventually as you keep reading the progressions and understanding the offense that you play in. Um, again, we have an activated Y state concept still here. Um, you can tell your Z whatever you want to do. Sometimes my Z has ran a lot of goals or my X if we're going to go Y shallow or Z shallow on the other side. And I'll just tell these guys to do, like I say, two hitches, right? Or, or he can do a step back, right? Or you can just have this guy also do a step. Uh, yeah, get a lot of these things sometimes. You got all your coaches know how, how fun these things are. It's a little step back thing where he's just going to step back and then, you know, he can step back right there. And then, all no, nah, if you call that, see, see, what we like to do too is, let's say we just call that a step back route, right? Because we, we just say Y stick is that step back, right? So you can throw the Y, he can throw the quick hit there. Then all this guy does is just become an extra blocker for you. So those are different ways to run X cross, H cross, um, now some people think that's crazy when we line up in this formation. I, I actually have made it a main staple at times because again, you're trying to mess with this outside backer. If we can get the box, like the quarterback can now like check into a run. Um, so, but I, I've seen it work and they're like, you know, how can this guy work across the field? Well, if he reads the progression by the time he, his eyes get there, it's there. Or he's still playing games on the backside. If they want to do Y stick or, you know, um, I love putting a post on this to hold the safety, right? Because if they're playing one high, I want to hold the safety from coming down. And if he does come down, then this is going to be green grass all day long. So there, there's different things you can do on the back side, but the front side reads are always important. And I stress my front side reads. Okay. Especially if you have young quarterback, really, really build in that wide stick on the back and, and front side reads. You get a guy who's a veteran who's been doing it a long time. That's as a coordinator, as a head coach, you can have a lot of fun. So Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, any questions you may have, I'm on Twitter. Uh, you know, wish us luck this year. Terrell Christian High School, we're, you know, first year head coaching job. Um, I have so much more offense. I would love to talk offense. Any guys want to get on Zoom call or anything, just let me know. That's mmmcfadden uh, at gmail uh, at terrellockchristian.com. Um, just hit me up. All right, man. You guys have a beautiful day.